Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise she the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm try I've been trying and <laughs> never give up in the name of Jesus. This is number five time that I've been trying. The the, the first two, three laptop I use, they're not working. They just will not work. And this is the number five. I'm very late, but it's better with God to be late than never. Amen. I don't give up. The child of the living God. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Halle, 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 hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah, hallelujah, eh, eh, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Invite people, invite people, invite people. Number five time that I've been trying to get on and say something for today as the Lord has led me. Invite more people. Let them come back and join me. This is number five. Never give up. Never give up. As a child of God, never give up. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. You are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 hallelujah. Singing hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. 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 Father Lord, I thank you this afternoon. I bless your majesty. Better late than never, we're here again. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness that reigns forever. And what about your provision? Even you died on the cross to set us free. It is enough that you died. It is enough that Jesus died. And that is died for me. I have no other argument. I have no other plea. It is in all that Jesus died and that he died for me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the world quickly. I greet you, whether you're coming in from the east, west, north, and south, 
whether we are the continent of Asia, Africa, Australia, or Tentico, from the, the continent of Europe, from North and South of America. Join me. Anytime you see me, whether I'm late or not, join me and be blessed. You are highly favored this afternoon. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, we're going through Hallelujah, Jesus reigns. And this is series 87. Series 87. Series 87. Come, join me. Uh, Second Corinthians. Come on quickly. We're going to do quickly today. Because at me, I don't give up. I'm sorry. Number, this is number uh, uh, five. Until I got it right. I'm not home and I've been facing so many, uh, um, what do I call it? This technology uh, uh, challenges. But here I am again. A, a big lesson for you for me today. Never give up. <laughs> Don't give up. Doesn't matter what you face. Keep pressing on. And this is a lesson for what we're doing today too. Come with me, Second Corinthians 2. Second Corinthians 2. I start from 8. To, we have to hurry up. Before, I beseech you that ye will confirm your love towards him. Who are we talking about? Your love towards Christ. Confirm it this afternoon. Like number five video. And this is number five that I finally got it right. Because I wasn't home. The internet was messing with me. Name it. Number five. And here I am. Since when? Since 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in America. But I'm not home. Amen. Second Corinthians. Wherefore, confirm your love for Christ this morning. <laughs> I was faced with my pressing on, never giving up. And number nine. For to this end also I write, Paul writing to the Corinthians, confirm your love for Christ today. Like <laughs> I was faced with so many obstacles to a point that I'm think I was thinking, should I give it up? Two hours pressing on. Confirm your love this morning. For to this end, Paul wrote to the Corinthians, prove of you whether ye be obedient in all things. Whether you will press on in all situations. No obstacle can stop you. When you want to work for God, work for God. If you don't want for work to work for God, leave it alone. Malachi. Hmm. Malachi 3. Hallelujah. Jesus, we are here. Never later. Better late than never. Ever living God, we are here. Sweet Jesus, we are here. We are here for you, Almighty God. We are here. Darling Jesus, we are here. Nasa Lord, we are here. We are here for you, Almighty Jesus. We are here, Father Lord, we are here. Dali Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. Come with me. Malachi 3. Let's start from verse 4. Malachi chapter 3, verse 4. Then shall the offering of Judah. Malachi 3, 4. And Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord, as in the days of old, and as in former years and i will come near to you to judge listen you see my sacrifice this morning persistence perseverance not giving up trust me i've been here since when since 10 o'clock eastern standard time and now it's just coming on at one o'clock three hours pressing on non-stop give it up give god his time in your life this is my sacrifice this morning or this afternoon. And five, and I will come near to you to judge. He will talk our walk. He's going to judge you. He's going to judge me. What have you got to surrender to your God this morning? Not like, hear this. Because it will judge swiftly. It will be a witness against every one of us. Against the sorcerers, against the adulterers. The sorcerers, 
They bear evil witness. They use evil power to prophesy. The sorcerers. Whether it's witchcraft or wizard, I don't know. They know what it is. And they know what they're doing. I don't trust. You go from one door to the other, whereas you are married. How many men in your life? Men? How many women? Even your friends and wives. Women. And your husband's friends. Hey, in your life. Men? How many women? Even your friends and wives. Women. And your husband's friends. Hey, adulterers. And against false swearer, you say, God is my witness. For when you know you're lying. Against those who oppress the hellion in his wages. You give chicken change to people. You give them posts and you oppress them in their wages. Laban in the book of Genesis, he did it to Jacob. Ten times it changed. Is wages for the one reason I don't know. It could be our even our behavior could love people to oppress us. We need to fix some things this morning. I need to fix some things this morning. Those who oppress the widow, you know, they are they don't have no husband no more. You oppress them because you feel you are in charge now, you want to use them. To your own satisfaction, God is your witness this morning or this afternoon, depending on where you're watching from. And the fatherless, you oppress them. You oppress the strangers. And you fear not God. I don't know you. You don't know me. If you are listening, if you share this video, God just wants us to change our ways so it can be pleasant to him. So that we can be blessed. So that we can have a new heart, not a heart of stone. And you are not faced with nothing. You oppress everybody around you. You are not faced with nothing. You just feel you are in control, you are in charge, and nobody can challenge you. You have your own right. Exercise that right based on the commandment of God. So, you don't miss hospitality, you don't miss the fear of God, you obey all the Ten Commandments. You offend in one, you offend in all. Let me share with you. In the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 22, a rich man came to Jesus. He asked him, how can I be saved? Bearing in mind, I fulfill the Ten Commandments of God. No adultery going on, no fornication, nothing. Ah. Jesus even told him, after Ten Commandments, he says, you lack something. What do you like this morning? You oppress the poor, you oppress the widows, you oppress the fatherless, the, ha, the orphans of the world. Strangers, you turn them away from their rights because you know nobody can ask you. You forgot somebody is in charge of those lives. Adulterous, idolatrous, and on and on. About time we all change in our ways. You cannot please Paul to pay Peter. How much more God? You cannot rob God. You cannot rob your brothers. And you want to go please God? He cannot answer their prayers. It cannot answer that hospitality. About time we change. I'm not going to take your time. What did he say in the book of Romans? Romans 6, 23. Romans 6, 23. And the Lord said, let's start from 5. I mean from 21. What food had ye then in those things wherefore ye are now ashamed? <laughs> Hearing me this afternoon, are you ashamed? Am I ashamed of the things I'm doing that are not of God? For the end of those things is death. Hey! May we never know the second death. May we never even know the first death. 
Because if somebody would die of sin, they cannot find grace in the sight of God. And we can be alive and be, and be dead in sin. Dead in sin means doing the things that are not allowed according to the will of God. You exercise your power unnecessarily. You exercise your position unjustly. You oppress those below you. Ah, you take tears from people's eyes. And you feel who is going to ask you because you are in authority. And you're even asking God to come and see what he can do. And you're asking people, what can your God do for you? <laughs> and some sticker in cars, in the bumper, they say, what can your Jesus do for you? I am telling you this morning, that blood, it will never lose its strength. That blood will never go in vain. That blood is an atonement for you, for me. It's a, it's a blasphemy to say, walk in the blood of Jesus. Walk and put my eyes sins away, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what a mighty blood that will make me whole again. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can put my sins away? Nothing but the blood. Oh Jesus, I say, what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what a mighty blood that makes me whole again. No. Oh, the fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Papa, go back, go back. Oh, can make me whole again, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, can make me pure again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And it says in 22, But now be made free from the sin, become servant to God. Hmm. Serve your God, the only true God. First Corinthians 8, 1 through 6. The only true God is God in heaven. He is the owner of heaven and earth. There is no other God. There is no other way. And 23, because the wages of sin is dead. Huh. You can be alive and be dead to sin, like I said earlier. You can be alive. And you are dead in the spirit. When you don't serve God as you ought to, you don't remember to pray, you can't fast, you can't do nothing that is pleasant to your God. You even oppress the poor. You oppress those who are God's. Amen. Amen. I have one of my associates. She will not leave me alone. You see here? It's all over me. You want to do what I'm doing? Okay, okay. Just stay right here. See? Just stay right there. God is faithful. Amen. Amen. Now, and 23, it says the wages of sin. We need to do better with the Lord. We need to run away from sin. We need to abide in his law. We need to do the things that are present to God. We need not to be a sinner. Sin can deprive us of our love for Christ. You see, when they have all these kids to go, they won't leave. They want to do what I'm doing. Bear with me. 
When I get back home, it will be better. I'm not home. <laughs> and lastly, the book of Amos, chapter 5. Go with me to the book of Amos, chapter 5. Amos, chapter 5. Amos chapter 5. And let's start from verse 2. The virgin of Israel is falling. Sin. <laughs> she shall not. Uh, may we rise again. May our sin never. De- let us be separated from the love of God. May we never fall again. The virgin. Who are these virgin? Remember the ten virgins? People who are. They start well. They all started well, serving God. Started well. The lamp were burning. They waiting for the lamb to come and marry them. They waiting for the marriage of the lamb. Serving God with your whole heart. And they wait then. They were waiting for their redemption. They were waiting to be translated. They were waiting to be fully ordained in the spirit. Those are the virgins. See what happened. Some ran out of gas and see the virgin. Amen. Amen. May we never fall. The virgin of history is falling. They ran out of God. They're not serving God as they ought to. They're not doing the things of God no more. Wake up this morning. You can do it yourself. If we need to, to wait for people to be our helper, cry to your maker. My help, oh, I help, oh, I help, oh, I help, oh. There is something that made me come into your presence. I help, oh. And verse 3 For those says the Lord God of Israel. Ha, ha. Let's, let's just omit it. I'm going to go down to 4. Seek ye. The house of Israel. Seek ye me, and ye shall live. It should be Amos 4. Seek ye the Lord this morning, and ye shall live. Seek ye the Lord this morning, and ye shall live. Seek ye the Lord this morning, and ye shall live. Let us go into prayers. Bear with me. Better, like I told you, better late than never. Let us go into prayers. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for this hour. I thank you for my brothers and sisters that they have courage to keep coming back. Share this with somebody. Save a soul this morning. Amen. Save a soul this morning. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to praise Him. Share with somebody. Invite somebody. Join me. I'm not giving up. <laughs> Join me in YouTube. Begin to pray. Thank God for today. And now, pray that, Father, give me the spirit to always be obedient, to do things that are pleasant to you, to do things that are acceptable to your sight, to be your servant truly. Teach me your ways and never let me depart from it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, to Malachi 3.5, I don't know what you do. I really don't know who you are. You see those things that the Lord desist? Adultery? Sorcerer? Oppressing the, the widow? The orphans? Those who hire, you employ? And favor, favoritism? Nepotism? Hey! Hey! I don't know who you are. It's about time. Because! Ask God to help you change your ways. Because he said in Romans 6, 23, the wages of sin. These are sins. And on and on. Tell Papa God to put you with his blood, with his word. Make you over. You steal people's blessing. Hey. You using people's glory to shine. Hey. Like they gave the head of John the Baptist as a present. Ah, a prophet. Touch not my anointing. And the person who did it, he, he died having mental issue. Yes. Because it, 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 it told him, don't commit adultery. You took your brother's wife. Why should you do that? And that was the offense. Committed, put him in, in jail. And when they were having party, 
he used the head of a prophet. Touch not. Hey, have you touched a prophet? Have you touched a prophetess? Have you touched a man of God? Have you touched those who are? They have no authority. They have nothing. About time you change your ways this morning. Whatever you borrowed to give as a present to others, they borrowed the head of John the Baptist as a present. Hey, Jehovah, who has borrowed my testimony, my destiny, my children's testimony, destiny, my husband, my marriage, my home? Pray, let them release me by force, by fire, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Who is using my position to shine? My Aliraiba, when Adonijah married, he tried with Solomon, the Lord, the cry of a mother. He reached heavenly places of God. He reached God in his seventh heaven. With the prophet Nathan, we wouldn't have heard about Solomon today. May the Lord set us free in the name of Jesus. And finally, seek ye God today, and ye shall live. Ye shall be delivered. From sin, from sorrow, from illness, from diseases, and our life will never remain the same. For in Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Join me next Sunday. It's going to be better. Now that I know, after five times, what to do, because I'm not home. Even if I'm home, it could happen. Be are with me. I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, <laughs> yeah, next week, same time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in America. The Central Time is 10 a.m. People from Mountain Area in America, I'll see you at 9 a.m. California, Pacific, West Coast, 11 minus minus three and see you at 8 a.m. If you're coming from West Africa, join me 11 plus five. I mean, yeah, it will be 4 p.m. From East, East Africa, join me plus seven, 6 p.m. Sorry, uh, if you're coming from West Africa, it will be plus, yeah, plus five, I'm right. And is the East Africa, you join me plus seven and you will be with me at six. God bless you from East Africa. I, I mean, from uh, Asia. I saw Reverend. God bless you, sir. Join me plus 11. It will be 10 p.m. Share this video, and I'm going to YouTube right now. God bless you. I should do so. Save a soul. Let people change their ways. And you save a soul, it's a free ride for you to heaven. Trust me. God does not say it and not do it. Shalom. And happy holidays. Happy holidays. See you next week. Bye-bye.